Hello mga kawamat. In this video lesson, we will discuss some problems involves the measures of central tendency. So the first problem, a doctor ordered four separate blood tests to measure a patient's total blood cholesterol levels. So the test results were 245, 235, 220, and 210. So find the mean of the blood cholesterol levels. So first, of course, we're going to identify our uh, given data. So we have this formula. So the formula is the summation of x over n. So we're going to add 245 plus 235 plus 220 plus 210 all over, so bibilangin nyo lang, no? so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, so all over 4. And then add, so what is the sum? So again, 245 plus 235 plus 220 plus 210, that is equal to 910. And then divide by 4, so using your calculator, so 910 divide 4, that is 227.5. So the mean of the blood cholesterol levels is 227.5. Okay, so box lang natin yung sagot natin. Next, so find the median of the data in the following list. So we have number 1, 14. 27, 3, 82, 64, 34, 8, and 51. So, yung concept natin sa pagkuha ng median, kapag add number, yung given, so, ibig sabihin, yung pinakagitna or yung pinaka middle uh, value, that is the median. So, kung bibilangin natin yung number 1 uh, natin, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, even number. So, kapag even number, meron tayong dalawang gitna. So, bago natin makuha yung median natin, kailangan natin i-arrange mula sa pinakamababa pap papunta sa pinakamataas. So, let's start with 3. Okay, so isulat muna natin. So, number 1, 3. Next is 8. <coughs> and then after 8, we have 14. And then, so this is now 14. Anong next sa 14? 27. So next sa 27. Okay, 34. Next sa 34, we have 51. So ito yung 34 natin. 51. And then after 51, 64. Then after 64, 82. Okay, so ano yung dalawang gitna natin? So, that is 27 and 34. So, kapag even number class, so ang gagawin natin, may dalawang gitna tayo, i-add natin yung dalawang gitna na yan. Okay, so para makuha natin, no? So, 27 Plus 34, divide 2. So what is 37, uh, 27 plus 34? So that is 50, ah uh, no, 61. So what is 61 divide 2? So the median is 30.5. Okay, so yun yung sagot natin sa number 1. So yung median natin for number 1, is 30.5. Next, so number 2. So, arrange lang natin. So, anong pinakamababa dyan? 11.6. Okay, we have 11.6. And then, we have 17.2. 21.3. And then, 37.4 and 82.5 
So, ang given natin sa number 2, meron tayong 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, this is add number. So, ibig sabihin, yung pinakagitna dito, that will be our median. So, ang gitna natin dito is 21.3. So, therefore, ang median natin for number 2 is 21.3. So, this is our answer for number 1. At ito naman yung sagot natin for number 2, 21.3. Next, find the mode of the following list. So, for number 1, we have 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 5, 8. So, ano ba yung concept, no? yung pagkuha ng mode di sa given na data? So, ano yung pinakamarami? So, kitang-kita sa number 1, na ang pinakamarami is yung 3 kasi meron tayong 5. So, therefore, sa number 1, ang sagot natin is 3. So, kapag isa lang yung mode na nakuha natin, tinatawag natin yan ng unimodal. And then, for number 2, okay, so, uh, meron ba sa number 2? So, meron tayong dalawang 71. Okay, so, yun lang, no? Oh, may dalawang 12. So, ibig sabihin, dalawa yung mode natin. So, we have 12. So, 12 and 71. So, kapag dalawa yung mode natin, so, tinatawag natin by model. So, that is how to get the value of mean, median, and mode kapag ungrouped data yung given.